What exactly is a graphics tablet? What's the best graphics tablet for beginners? And what are some of the pros and cons? Well, today we're gonna to be looking at just that, so stay tuned. For art-related tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos every Friday. So if this is your first time coming to the channel, welcome. I am digital artist Brian Hampshire, and I've been drawing digitally for about five years, doing commissions and other work. And so as you can imagine, I've had my fair share of uh, graphics tablets, display tablets. So let's get into it. So a graphics tablet is a input device it uses a pressure sensitive um, pad in which you use a stylus to draw and make different graphics over it. Graphics tablets are mainly used for artists, um, photographers, animators. The cons to having a graphics tablet or using a graphics tablet for digital art is that it's a big, big learning curve. Uh, just simply because when you draw traditionally, um, you're able to actually see what you're drawing. With a graphics tablet, you're drawing on this pad, but you're looking at the monitor or your computer screen to see what you're actually drawing. So that's a bit of a learning curve. I know it was for me, and a lot of other artists, but you can get used to it. And I would say the pros to that is that it is much uh, cheaper than a display tab. If you're a beginner coming into the game, I mean, that's, that's a nice way to come into the game and you can create some of the same work that's been created on these display tablets. You can create the same work on these graphics tablets. There is no difference besides the actual screen. So are you a inspiring digital artist? So what made you want to become a digital artist? Let me know in the comments below. So in my opinion, the best budget tablet for beginners is going to be the Wacom Intuos. Uh, you can grab this one on Amazon for about 80 bucks. And the thing about Wildcom is most of their tablets come with different software. And this one comes with Corel Painter Essentials, Aftershot 3, and Clip Studio Paint Pro. Now, I have a step-by-step -step video explaining where and how to download your free software if you purchase this. Uh, so check that out. I'm gonna have the link in the description below. If you are new to the digital art realm, I compiled a free guide to help you get started with digital art. Um, it's going to save you time and money. It's going to be right down there in the description below. Remember, it's a free guide, so make sure you pick that up. I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and as always, I'll holler at you guys next time. Believe that.